Hey guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can create these 3D letters. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for this video, I am going to do a Coco Melon theme. So right over here, you can see the cardstock has already been cut. So I would recommend people to use either their Cricut or their Silhouette to cut out the cardstock. And you would need a file, but for me, I created my own file for everything and I am not selling this file. However, I do sell the 3D letters and the 3D letters DIY kit. So the difference between that, the 3D letter is $12. And for those of you who just want to do the DIY kit, which means you're going to have all this cut out, you can see on the screen. And instead of paying $12 when it's already made, you can just pay $5 per letter. All right. So what's going to happen is you're going to see a dotted line on to each of the cut out and you're just going to fold that individually. And I would recommend doing everything first, like folding out all the, the dotted line first before you start sticking them onto the numbers or the letters. All right, so now that you've folded all of the corners that need folding, you're just going to go ahead and place the border onto the numbers. Don't stick it yet. Just place it around where you think it needs to go. So like this part, it's obviously going to go on the outer part. And of course, the third one is going to go in the middle. So you see how I'm just placing it there? Alright, so my video got cut out. I'm so sorry I didn't realize it. But to stick the borders, I am using a double-sided tape. I know some people use a glue, but to me, I like using double-sided tape just because they're faster, they're quicker, they're less messy. So I would just use a double-sided tape, stick it onto the numbers itself, and then I would stick the borders so like for this one if you're dealing with a letter or a number that has a center just like this um letter o you would normally stick out the center first before you stick out the outside part so and like you see this one is different this goes outwards and the outer part goes inward if that makes sense so i'm just gonna go ahead and stick all the double-sided tape and i'm gonna show you guys how you can stick the borders. All right, so now that we're done sticking all the double sided tape, so like as I mentioned earlier, the middle part. Um, stick out outwards and the outside part stick in inwards so there i am just placing it slowly take your time um it's not going to be perfect but it make sure that you're you're making sure that it's it's aligned not much sticking out now if there is something that's sticking out like the the border is sticking out a bit or it's not um the right size now I can't make it perfect. Um, like I said, I only made this um, file myself, so it's not perfect. There's going to be bound for imperfection where a little bit would be sticking out, but that is fine because it's not gonna be visible and it's not really gonna show once you put all the designs in front of it. Now 
All right, and now you're gonna do the other side. So this is the front side. So earlier we did the back side, and this is the front side, the decorated side. Um, but I would highly suggest to do it on the front side first, then the back side, because it just, it looks way better if you put the borders on the decorated part rather than on the back part. But later on, this is the method that I would be doing and you can see that in the other letters. All right, so now that you're done, you're just gonna go ahead and slowly pick up the other side and stick it together. So like you can see, it takes a lot of time to align it. And like I said, it's not perfect, but try your best as, as possible to make it aligned. You can move, you can squeeze here and there. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like. So I know some people used a a letter from Hobby Lobby. They just bought those paper mache and um, built letter already. And what they're going to do is they're just going to paint it. So the good thing about doing it with a cardstock, you don't need to wait for the paint to dry. You don't need any paint because the paper cardstock is already colored or the poster board, whichever you're going to use. And for the pattern right here, I am using my printer to print out the pattern. All right, so as you can see, I'm just pressing it down, making sure everything is, you know, not lifting. And like I said, you know, it's not going to be perfect. Like you can see, um, I like a little bit of sticking out of the color pink, but it's fine because, you know, it's handmade and you, no matter what you do, I mean, I'm a bit of perfectionist and those kind of things bother me, but doing handmade stuff, it you know, it made me it made me realize that this kind of imperfection is fine. Plus, you're not really gonna see it a lot. So right here, this is gonna be included in your DIY kit. So this this golden back and the printed front. So this is our 3D pictures. So the one that I'm using for this one is from Dollar Tree, and this is the double sided foam. It's not the tape. It's the foam. So the foam, what it does, it gives you that lifted um, 3D look when you stick it onto the paper. So you're gonna see it later. Uh, I'm looking for it right now. That's why I'm not at my table. I'm looking for that 3D foam, but you're gonna see later what I'm talking about. I know some people get them from Michaels or Hobby Lobby, but I found them at Dollar Tree. They don't always have it available. It's so hard to find. Um, but like I said, make sure you buy the double-sided foam, not the double-sided tape. The tape is just flat, okay? The foam, it has foam. <laughs> okay, so I finally found it. So this is what the 3D foam look like. So it's gonna have like those tiny dots um, and you're gonna go ahead and stick it onto the parts that are, uh, usually I stick it on the outer part, but I also try to stick it in the middle part, um, but not a lot. But you're going to go ahead and see here how I place it. Now, there's no right way of placing it or the right spot to place it. It's entirely up to you wherever you want to place it. I'm just winging it um, while I'm doing this. Like, I'm just going about what I feel like where I need to put it, where I don't need to put it. You know, I don't really want to waste it. Just like I said, it's so hard to find a Dollar Tree. And if you look for them at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, they're, they're a bit pricey. But so, yeah. Like you see, I'm not putting them on every part, just a little bit part of it. All right, so now that you're done, you're just gonna go ahead again, slowly um, put it on top. 
Now I would suggest um, moving it here and there. Um, you can either put it exactly in the middle. So what I do with mine, I kind of like um, put it on the corner or, or move it a little bit to the left or to the right, whichever I prefer, just so that one part of it or the bottom of it, you can see the gold. Because the thing is, if you put it in the middle, yes, you can still kind of see the gold, but not as much. But I would want to try to put it like a little bit offset. Yes, that's what it, that's what I'm trying to say. Like not in the center, just a little bit on the right, but not too much. So you can still see the gold. And now you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Now, before you stick it, you know, do anything, I have to remind you guys, this is paper. So once you stick it, you can't lift it up without lifting the paper itself. So you have to be careful that wherever you want to place it, you have to make sure that that's where it's going to go. Because if you don't like it, then you're going to have to, you know, ruin the entire paper or the pattern and you can see it. It's going to rip off the paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it first. And if you like where it is, then that's when you start sticking the double sided foam again. So like I said, do not use the double sided tape because it's flat. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to have this 3D piece to be sticking upwards um, from the letter. You don't want it sticking flat. You want it a little bit lifted to give that 3D look. All right, so that is what that looked like. As you can see, it's lifted and, and everything. It's not gonna be perfect, it never will be, but you can make it as close to perfect as possible. All right, so I'm not gonna do the other letter because it's already 12 minutes and I don't wanna drag this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.